everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you my delicious miso white fish on a warm millet salad. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious miso fish on a warm millet salad. Now this recipe is really easy to do and it's another one where I'm using miso paste. Miso paste is a Japanese paste um, that is slightly salty. It's a fermented paste, so it's really good for the gut. It is slightly salty, but on fish it tastes delicious, I have to say. So the other day I was looking for something to add to the plain fish that I was about to cook, and I saw this in the fridge and I thought I'd give it a try, and the results were amazing. So I wrote the recipe on my blog, googieskitchenlife.com, and um, I'm going to be having it for my lunch today, so while I was making it, of course, I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious miso fish, white fish, on a warm millet salad. Firstly, I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. While my oven is preheating, I'm going to prepare the fish. So I have a piece of cod here, but you could use bassa, bassa if you wanted to, or any sort of white fish. Miso actually works really well on salmon as well, so if you wanted to try salmon with this dish, I wouldn't blame you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spread some miso paste across the top of the fish. And this just adds a really lovely extra bit of flavour to the fish and it makes it that bit more interesting. I love fish, but I do find it can be quite bland. Um, so I do like to add things to it to make it a bit more tasty. And this is one my family and I really enjoy as well. We've had this last night for our dinner and it was delicious. As I said, I'm having this for my lunch today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this aside. Again, while my oven is preheating, I have grabbed myself a large saucepan and I'm going to put this onto a high heat and I'm going to add some oil to the base of that pan, like so. And I'm just gonna leave the pan to heat up now. The pan has started to smoke, so I know the oil is getting warmer in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a quarter of a red onion that I peeled, a sliced and diced last night. So I'm just gonna add that into my pan. And I'm just going to fry the onion now until it starts to soften. So the onion has started to soften and it's also started to go a bit golden brown as well. So I'm just going to turn the heat down slightly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a quarter of a courgette that I peeled and grated last night. And then under that I have some yellow pepper as well. So I've got about a quarter of a yellow pepper that I'm also going to add in. And I'm going to fry these ingredients until these start to soften. So the courgette and the pepper started to soften. So here I have about 75 grams of millet. Uh, millet is a grain you can buy it online. It's not really sold readily in the supermarkets in the UK, but you can get it online. Um, it's delicious. I love it. Um, so I'm going to add this to the courgette, onion and pepper and I'm just going to fry this for about a minute or so and then once this has been fried I'm going to add some chicken stock as well. You can use fish stock if you want to give that fishy taste or you could use uh, bone broth as well. So yeah, I'm just going to fry this for a minute or so as I said and then I shall add some uh, chicken stock to it as well. I've got some chicken stock here and I'm going to add enough to cover the millet and then about two centimetres above that covering, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Oh, and I forgot to say, I actually washed the millet through twice 
before I put it into this pan um, and that just gets rid of some of the starches off it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this to the boil and then I shall turn it down and leave it to simmer so I'm just going to pop the lid on and bring it to the boil the millet has started to come to the boil so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pan to, down to a medium heat and I'm going to leave this to simmer until all of the liquid has disappeared and while the millet is cooking away nicely I'm also going to put the fish into the oven for about 15 minutes so I've just taken the fish out of the oven and it's cooked because you can tell because the fish flakes away really easily from itself so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check on the millet and I shall put the two together and that will be my lunch done remove the lid from the millet and as you can see it's almost cooked when I pull back with the spoon and the millet closes together there's not really any um, liquid coming out so that means it's cooked so before I serve up all that's left for me to do is just hang, uh, put in a little bit of kale to this you can add spinach as well if you want to I do like either in this I just had some kale to hand in the fridge so I'm just going to add that and I'm going to mix it round until it's all wil wilted into the millet and that is my lunch done that is how you make my delicious miso white fish on a warm millet salad and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you as I mentioned earlier I'm going to be having this for my lunch now and it smells so good as always I can't wait to eat it so for now that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button See you soon. Bye.